Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bethany. Today we will be making these small air plant pots. They are a really fun and quick project, my favorite kind. Be sure to check the description. I have links to the yarn and hook that I used as well as where to get your own air plants to put in your pots. So let's get going. Okay, so to make these uh, air plant pots, you're gonna need a four millimeter hook and medium weight yarn. And um, I kind of like to do the ombre color uh, color scheme. So I get a light and a mid and a dark that are along the same color palette. And um, I'm gonna start with my dark. And we're going to be making the large pot. The, the written pattern, uh, the link is included in the um, description and it includes four sizes. I'm going to be working the large and then kind of speaking, um, seeing instructions um, for making the small one, smaller ones. So we're starting with the magic ring. Um, there's a tutorial on my channel for making that. If you don't want to do the magic ring, you can make a uh, chain three and uh, slip stitch it into a loop. So we chained one and we're going to work eight single crochet into the loop. And then slip stitch into the first single crochet. Then chain one and then single crochet two in each stitch around. Okay, and then we're going to join with a slip stitch. And if you're making the very teeny tiny extra small pot, this is where you would stop. But we're going to move on because we're making the large one. So chain one single crochet in the same stitch and then work two in the next stitch. So work the increase in the next stitch. So you're working a, a single in between the increases on this round. So you're going to work one followed by two in the next stitch. One single crochet, one single crochet followed by two single crochet in the next stitch and then repeat that all the way around. Okay, and then join with a slip stitch. <clears throat> and if you are working the small pot, you're going to stop here and move on with the next round, um, which I'll explain to you in a minute. So for the small, stop here, stop increasing. Um, we're going to move on with the large. So the next round, you're going to chain one, single crochet in the same stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then work the increase by working two single crochet together in the same stitch. Okay, so one, two single crochet, and then two in the next stitch, the increase. So repeat repeat this repeat this sequence of working one, two single crochet, each in their individual stitch, followed by the increase of working two single crochet in the next stitch. Um, repeat that all the way around. Okay, and then join with the slip stitch. And again, if you're working the medium sized pot, you would stop at this point, um, stop increasing. And then we'll do one more round for the large. So you're gonna chain one, single crochet in the same stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches, and then work your increase. So the sequence to repeat is working three single crochet stitches each in their own stitch followed by the increase, working two in that next stitch. So work one, two, three single crochet, and then two single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around the circle. Okay, so now we're gonna move on. We are done increasing. And now we're going to work the sides of the pot coming up. So if you had stopped here, you know, the extra small, small, medium, and then we're working the large. So the instructions are the same now for all the pot, all the size pots that you're working. Well, not the same, but similar. So we're, we're going to work the next round. We're going to work one single crochet in each stitch, and we're going to work through the third loop. 
<clears throat> the reason why we're going to work through the third loop is it makes the sides of the pot come up at a, like a 90 degree angle from the bottom. This is going to be the bottom and the sides are going to come up like that. And so to make it really come up, we're going to chain one and you're going to, so you have the two loops. You have the first one right there, the second one right there. And the third one is this, is this loop right here that's kind of off to the side. You kind of have to, you kind of have to use your finger to pop it on there like that. And that's where we're going to work. And it's going to leave, you know, the, the front, the top two loops unworked. But when it's done, it's going to come, it's going to come up really nicely. So work a single crochet in the third loop of each single crochet around. Okay, we're going to join with a slip stitch. <clears throat> and then it <clears throat> it's not quite doing much right now on that first row, but as you continue to work one single crochet in each stitch around it will come up more drastically and you can see that it's made that the side come up. Okay, so for the next let's see two rounds. So this is 6. Um, the numbers would be different depending on what size you're working, but for the large pot, this is six. Um, and then for seven and eight, you're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. Um, yeah, so work one stitch in each stitch around for the next two rounds, and then we're going to join our next color. Okay, so we finished those rounds, and so we are going to join our next color, the next darkest color. And um, you can join it any way that you like. I, I, my favorite way is just to pull it, work the new color, uh, work the slip stitch with the new color. That seems to be one of the more seamless ways to do it. Okay, so from here you're going to work three rows with this color. So these, these pots are pretty um, straightforward. So you're just going to work um, one single crochet in each stitch around, and you're going to do that for um, 9, 10, 11, 12, sorry, four more rows. So we're going to do it for 9, 10, 11, 12. So four rows do that mid color of working one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, and you're going to join with a slip stitch. Then you're going to join your third color. And again, I like to join the slip stitch. <clears throat> Work the slip stitch using the new color. So for this new color, you're going to work you're going to work two rounds of working one single crochet in each stitch around. So that brings us up to when in the large one up to round 14, we're going to be working one in each stitch around. So work two rounds with your lightest color and then meet me back here. Okay, and then for the next row, we're going to work a row of decreases. Well, I mean, yeah, there's going to be, not all decreases, but there's going to be decreases in the row. So we're going to start <coughs> with a decrease, a single crochet, a single crochet, two together. And then you're going to work two single crochets, each in their own stitch. And then you're going to follow that by another single crochet decrease. So that's the sequence. You're going to work a decrease followed by two single crochet in their own stitches, each in their own stitch. So work that sequence all the way around. Okay, so we're going to join with the slip stitch. And then this brings us to our very last row. And for the very last row, you're just going to work a single crochet in each stitch around. So we did a, de we did a decrease in the last round, 
and then you're going to finish it with a pretty edge of just a single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, and then you're going to finish with a slip stitch. Clip your end and clip the other yarn ends if you haven't already. And then weave those in. And then you have your adorable little pot. Now this is for a rather this is for a rather large air plant. Um, I happen to have a pretty large one that fits in it perfectly. But it just sits in like that. And then you can see the other ones, the other sizes. This is probably the small one. This is the teeny tiny one. So when you're looking at the the pattern online, you'll see that um, this one is a little bit different. It's so small. This little teeny air plant that fits in it. Um, you don't want to do the decreases around the top because then it's too small to really get your guy in there. So um, don't do the decreases on that last one and that's in the written pattern. So you can find the written pattern um, in the description and you can find uh, links to where you can buy your own air plants as well. Um, they're actually pretty inexpensive and they're great for people with a uh, black thumb like me that seem to kill everything. They're pretty um, hard to kill and a low maintenance. So. Um, yeah, so here's our cute little plants for, our cute little pots for air plants. I really hope you enjoyed making your little air plant pots. Um, be sure to leave me a comment um, if you have any questions, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.